Hey everybody, my name is 16 Shadow. Welcome to another unboxing. Today we're unboxing a package all the way from Alexandria VA. Virginia? Or Vermont? I don't even know. But still, uh, thanks to David Al Altman. Altman? I don't know. Uh, for sending me this package. You already know from the town of thumbnail, of course. Uh, if you hear like a little fan, it's rotating because it's hot in the room, of course. So. Uh, let's unbox this. I think I know what this is. Uh, well, well, yeah, I think I know what this should be. Yes. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, there's even a little message in here, I think. I think. Or it could be like a receipt or some shit, but this, a lot of them do. But it's okay. It's okay if it does that. So, yes, it's the exact game you're probably seeing right now. Um, like, before you click the video. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Seeing Shadow or something like that. That's what it says. Or something. Uh, okay, I was like, I did not pay $4 for this thing. I was like, what? I paid $6.62. But hey, it's fine. I paid like basically $1.62 more for this game. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings for the Nintendo Wii. Um, I didn't realize it was a yellow spine, which is fine. I have like one other yellow spine game. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012, 2014 to 2012 games. But anyways, um, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings, I've, well, it's one of the last few Wii games I am looking for. The last few. I, I'm clearly down to 10 now. Or, or less. I don't know how many exactly now, but I, I'm, there's one of them. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. And, uh, well... Let's read it. Grab your whip and get set for a thrilling adventure in the classic Indiana Jones tradition. All new story sets you on a perilous round the world quest for the Staff of Moses. The Staff of Moses, okay. Uh, immersive controls of the Wii Remote will make players of all ages and abilities feel like indie. Use your environment creatively to beat the odds. Okay. I like how new this feels. Like, like it's really good. Wow. I like the disc. It's all, like, black and white, you know? The manual's not at great condition. I see, like, a, a little, like, weird thing. But it's fine. It's not, like, 100% bad. It's the only bad thing is, like, really down there. You can see that. Yeah, see that? And also, like, you kind of, like... Oop, I, try, I even dropped the freaking manual. I dropped... Uh, uh, can't even talk. It's like when you hold it, you can kind of see like some kind of like weird bend, but it's not like terrible. But it's still fine. I don't even get why, but hey, it's it's fine. It's fine. So of course, here's the main problem. It's the main problem. The disc, if it's bad, dude. I think the guy that owned this was like basically right on it. Like it's basically like a brand new game. It feels like a brand new game. My phone's going off, by the way. Okay. The Snapchat, by the way, if you want to know. That's pretty cool, freaking cool, dude. I did not know this game is four players. Four players? Four players? See that? That surprises me. I was not expecting four players. That's actually pretty freaking cool. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, Indiana Jones and Staff of Kings. Been look like I said, I've been looking for this for, like, about a year-ish. About a year, I would say, exact. Uh, since I put it on my list uh, about trying to finish the Wii uh, selection, uh, only North American. I have like no Japanese games yet because I don't know all of them yet, and there's only like a few they could think of. But I'm getting closer and closer to my North American complete Wii collection. When I say my North American, that means mine, as in not the complete North American Wii collection library. I'm talking about my personal list I've wanted the whole time. So, yeah, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. So, to read a Team for Teens by LucasArts. I don't know anything about this game. I don't know if it's good or bad. But I knew it was a very cheap game, though, and I wanted it. So, anyways, that's be it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like if you just subscribe below, and I'll see you all for the next one, right? Bye-bye.